Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another FGO video reaction and today we I'm going to react to Solomon a new PV came out uh, of Solomon the anime which is going to be released soon and I'm guessing this is PV number 2 and it's a 2 minute 30 seconds video it came out and I'm going to react to that so yeah I'm pretty excited I, I rea already reacted to the first trailer or PV uh, that came out for Solomon before um, it's on my channel and this is the second trailer uh, which probably will have uh, I'm guessing a few more things because it's a little bit longer than the previous trailer so I'm quite looking forward to this and obviously like uh, Solomon is another highly anticipated anime that each and every FGO fan is waiting for. I'm also the same and can't wait for it to release and it to actually like you know be available uh, digitally and all. So it'll take a little bit of time obviously the, the release date is soon but after it released there's a lot of time uh, you know six or seven months it'll take for it to actually usually uh, for it to actually release worldwide. So yeah, so we have to wait a long time still. But yeah, let's get started. This is the uh, newest trailer or PV, I think. Yeah, PV, uh, which came out. So let's react to it. First, I'm going to see what this is about and then I'm going to talk about it. So I doubt, I, I, I don't think there's any subtitles, but yeah, I should probably be, be, be able to make everything out. All right, guys, so let's start. On and so this is Fate Grand Order uh, Solomon. Start. Oh. Whoa, they're showing. Oh, is that? Wow, they're showing us everything. その行く末に晴れ渡った青空があることを祈っているよ。この先どれほどの窮地が待っていようとお前は、ただそこに立つだけで正しいのだ。Oh <笑> あの時から。できることは全部やってきた。その答えが申し切れようとして。それは戦うための装備だ。何を犠牲にしても敵を倒させるためのね。Oh damn, anything だから Damn, the voice acting. Wow, the animation looks gorgeous. Obviously, this is Clover works. Nero. Oh, Kyorim is also here. Nightingale Rama. Crystal Quartal Lev. Billy Fear. Mordred, oh my god, everyone's here. Oh。Damn, oh my god. I've never seen Ritsuka like that before. Wow. Oh my god, okay, that's it. <laughs> you know what? I I've never seen this guy like that. Obviously, like we've played the game portion. We know like you know what happens. But like the the game, like we don't even have Ritska's like you know we don't even see Ritska's uh you know sprite properly. Like they sometimes show us Ritska's you know portrait or sprite as they call it uh and so most of the time we're kind of like in first person we only see the servants that we're talking and those are still like still images so like actually seeing this portion getting animated and 
like seeing Ritsuka like that is wow I was not expecting that like like okay it really is um <laughs> not shocking but it's really unusual to see uh, that the Ritsuka that we always see you know like uh, smiling laughing <laughs> like uh, like like you know he looks like a person who couldn't even hurt hurt a fly but like you know with his eyes blood red and like you know bleeding from his mouth like oh god wow that was something damn all right obviously there's no subtitles and i was trying to like you know keep up with the like you know the words mm. we can see that all these servants here like you know everyone we saw like first we saw mozart like you know uh him like talking with mash uh, okay let me listen what is you're not going to make the world the world is going to make you oh that's what mozart said okay um and then this is drake i'm guessing humans everyone have uh their dreams your shield cannot be tainted by anything um someone's life which once uh shined in the past something like that oh like you're now accepting it after so many years it's, it's a good journey mm. <laughs> this is, obviously these are the scenes that we saw from babylonia uh, she's saying that uh, what what did she say Okay, uh, an un not regret. Uh, no, nah, what? What? Uh, what can I say? Like a battle which you yourself will be satisfied with. I'm expecting that from you. Something like that. She said. Um, I'm expecting a clear blue sky. Uh, something like that. Merlin said. I'm expecting that. Whatever happens in the future, you by standing will be correct or something like that. Like damn, I loved Gilgamesh's uh like you know portion in Babylonia, the when 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 he actually like you know praises Ritska. That was a powerful uh speech and kind of. He started from defeat. Okay. I'm your exclusive servant. I've been holding your hand from that, from the beginning. That's a bad uh, suit for battle only. Oh my god. Um, you'll be able to defeat your enemy by sacrificing each and everything if you use that suit. Something like <sighs> Okay, one thing. What do you wish for? Okay, um, I think I noticed this previously as well. Uh, the Solomon's... Uh, voice actor is Gintoki's voice actor isn't it from Gintama I think so <laughs> something like this is a story where we take back the future from us why are you fighting why are you helping Kaldia. okay first of all uh nero obviously is here calicula we can see kyohime as well interest it'll be interesting to see her animated hector is there as well okay this is nightingale isn't it i think i can recognize that face probably nightingale i'm not sure but i think so okay wait a minute who is this just a sec is this yeah, it's uh, Charles Henry Sanson, isn't it? Or, or am I mistaken? Okay, that's Rama, obviously. Oh, it's Ishtar and Quetzalcoatl is there. Okay, one thing I kind of forgot. 
I'm, my memory is a bit hazy. Lev was there as well? This is Lev, isn't it? Yeah. I cannot remember. It's been a while of, like, obviously it's been a while of playing Solomon, so I cannot remember most of the stuff. Okay, like, when I watch the movie, like, you know, my memory gets refreshed. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, is this Alexander? Just a sec. Yeah, that's Alexander, isn't it? Uh, the young version. Oh boy, a lot of characters. Very various here as well. Okay, moderate, narrow, obviously. Okay, damn. Alright, oh my god, this scene. Ah. Like, I'm still really, what can I say? Like, I don't know how to feel. Like, we've never seen Itsuka like this. You know, like, bloodshot eyes, bleeding from his nose. Damn, this will be something. All right, that was it. That was amazing. It's like <laughs> the trailer itself is so damn good. <laughs> and obviously, like I'm really expecting a, an amazing movie because this is Cloververse, and like you know, the way they did Babylonia was in itself so impressive and this is a movie like you know like this has even bigger budget and so i'm just imagining how amazing this will be you know and okay one scene another scene i need to check it out uh, the scene where we see john the arc here it is like you know you see this animation here like when like this animation here oh my god like when she moves the uh, flag and holds it like the what do you call it the vibration on the reverberation like this is like this is like this really shows that the animation is too damn good like oh god wow this will be amazing i can say like i can see this being really great all right yeah and uh, so yeah guys that was it that was uh solomon's newest pv and one thing i like you know like i kind of remembered uh, i've seen people actually like uh you know people who i'm talking about some people who um what can i say like when babylonia came out uh like you know like there's like fate grand order was completely new in anime that in that movie obviously we had a fate grand order ova type of thing you know which kind of shows us what's happened in the first singularity for yuki, for yuki. But like you know, I'm, I'm like you know, considering Babylonia, like I kind of consider Babylonia being the first anime that was properly done, you know, like in anime form. That was like an OVA, uh, but this was like a proper animated, like you know, in, in proper anime form, twenty four episodes and all. So obviously, a lot of people was new to like you know, like Fate had a lot of fans, but Fate Grand Order like was very new to especially people who only watch anime, and. Like, you know, I saw a lot of people actually saying this, that, oh, Ritsuka Fujimaru, another, what do you call it? What did they say? Like, yeah, another copy-paste, uh, like, you know, main character who does nothing, only just stands around. And, uh, like, you know, stuff like this. And, uh, like, at that moment, I, like, you know, like, obviously, like, Ritsuka, I think they call this a self-insert protagonist or something. I'm not sure. I might be using... Some incorrect terms like so please correct me if i'm wrong um so, like you know like this guy is like we see this in a lot of games especially gacha games for example here uh Ritsuka in fgo uh in i'm taking a few other games name in honkai impact which is the captain uh in not in genshin impact genshin, in genshin impact traveler is a very much like you know part of the game itself i'm excluding that uh in um punishing gray raven commandant in arc knights i think doctor they call him a lot of like you know most of the gacha games they have this one character you know who is like the main character who is supposed to be 
we ourselves, you know, they're like, they're like a placeholder for there. Just there for the sake of it. So for the story. And obviously, I think Ritsuka is a lot more advanced than that. Because Ritsuka in himself, is himself or herself, is very much a part of the story. And uh, because of that, uh, I, I think, like, you know, like, as time, like, in the beginning, it was kind of like that. Ritsuka was kind of like that in the beginning singularities. But as time went on, they really kind of made him into a character, an actual fleshed out character. And like you know, included in and this is very much like you know we can see this very much in Babylon, uh, not Babylon, sorry, in Solomon, where he actually like you know picks up the shield and like you know like goes in front and he, like you know like is watching and uh, not watching but playing Solomon made me actually realize that yeah, Rizka is a part of our story now. He's not that character who is just there for the sake of it. You know, like that, those characters who are like used as a placeholder in these type of gacha games. Solomon really made me realize that, yeah, he is really a part of the story now. He is a character in this universe living. And I'm not sure, like, I am quite interested in knowing your guys' opinion about this. And if I, like, you know, in, if my interpretation is correct or not, like, you know, the way I actually see. And after that, like, you know, like after the whole, uh, like, you know, Solomon, he, he really started, like, you know, not only in Solomon, he was also very much invested in the story uh, in Camelot as well. Uh, but still, like, you know, like, he became, uh, like, actually, like, for me, like, you know, he became really a part of the story. And, uh, yeah, like, always, like, you know, whenever we play the game and everything, like, as we see it in first perspective mode, uh, we usually pick the options and we don't even have a voice for Ritsuka and all. And, uh, like, you know, like, it, it feels like we're detached with him. But Solomon really changed everything. And after this anime, I think it, it, the whole perspective will again change. And like, you know, he, he really will become a part of this story in a genuine way, not as a like, you know, character, as a placeholder for the protagonist. No. But anyways, it's just like, you know, something that I thought about. Because Gacha game does this, you know, like there's this one character, like you know, the main protagonist, the main captain, commander, whatever you call them, they're just there for the sake of it. <laughs> but yeah, like Fate Grand Order has really changed that, and yeah, I'm really like you know glad that like, this is like you know Solomon is probably like <laughs> Rizka's character development uh, arc or something like that, you know. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, so yeah guys, that was it. That was my reaction to um, Fate Grand Order Solomon PV, the newest PV that came out. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, help me get to 1k subscribers. We're almost there. And uh, comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know. Your opinions about this trailer, anything else. I'll definitely check them out. So... Yeah, guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys uh with in the next fgo video uh like you know i usually do fgo uh, reaction videos as other stuff if you are interested in them i'll be linking down my playlist below you'll all find all my fgo reactions and other stuff that i did fgo related or fate related in there you can go check it out so yeah guys see you guys in the next video next fgo video related video so until then goodbye and have a nice day